Okay, uh, obviously we have a big challenge for us uh, this weekend. Uh, playing one of the top teams in the country at the first of the year before they had injuries. Uh, they're getting healthier. Uh, they've got 16 returning to starters off a team that almost won the SEC championship uh, last year. Uh, they got one of the better quarterbacks to ever play in the SEC. So uh, it'll be a huge challenge for our guys. And uh, we do realize, you know, we're going to have to keep improving um, and, and get ready to play. Question? Well, he's, he's extremely talented. Um, He's got great experience. Uh, he's been in big games, handles pressure well, and it's all the buzz. And he's mobile enough to hurt you with his feet, too. Speaking of quarterbacks, uh, Nick Marshall has handled his virtue pretty well this year. Coming in the summer, winning the starting job, that last minute drive against Mississippi State. How do you think he handles uh, going against his old team? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's familiar with them, there's no doubt. Uh, but if he holds true to you know, past experience this year. I mean, he didn't get too high or too low. Not much really uh, rattles him, and he stays stays pretty calm. You know, no matter what the moment. What challenges do does Todd really present for you guys? Well, he's one of the better running backs in you know college football. He's a big guy, can run. Uh, he's uh, tough to tackle. Um, I say he's one of the best in college football. Because you just talk about the progress Nick has made. Running that, that, that zone read, which I don't think he had done that before he came here yeah. over the course of the season. You know, I think all parts of our offense he feels more comfortable. And it's becoming a little more natural to him where he can play and not have to think. And, uh, you know, I think that's been, you know, critical the last few games. How so, can uh, running backs like Corey Grant and Trey Mason, obviously they're not the same running back, but how does that help the defense prepare for Todd Gurley? Well, you know, the, I, I think uh, he's probably a little bit bigger than, than both those backs. But the fact that we do have, you know, three different type backs, you know, I think that helps us uh, defensively, you know, uh, you know, against most opponents. Coach, obviously you picked up the pace offensively the last three or four games. How, how fast do you think you're getting the plays off on average, like per second? Yeah. And how much is the offense different from when you had Cam, or is it exactly the same? Yeah, you know, first of all, the pace. I mean, that's a big part of, of what we do when we're playing fast. I mean, we're that's when we're at our best. I mean, obviously, you got to get a first down before you do that. Uh, we'll continue to try that to be an advantage. Uh, we are a little bit different uh, than when Cam was here. Uh, you know, we build around the strengths of our quarterback, no matter who our quarterback is. And uh, so we're a little bit different. But, you know, like I said, the first year, no matter whether it's Chris Todd or Cam Newton or Nick Marshall, at the core of who we are, uh, you know, foundation-wise, didn't change. We just built around strengths for quarterback. Guess how, going off that, how unusual is this for you? Just because historically, you've never had a team that's passed for so little. You've always had more production in the passing game, and a little bit less from the quarterback running, historically speaking. So, just how different the experience is for you been this year? Well, I, you know, I think the fact that I'm a former high school uh, coach, you know, each year you have different players you gotta try to adapt around that, you know, it's just whatever you do best. You need to need to build around that, and that's kind of what we're doing best right now. Have you sp uh, given a, uh, spoken to Nick at all this week about maybe handling some of the outside pressure or, or deflecting it somehow? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we, we're taking it week by week, um, you know, as far as each game. Um, you know, Nick, there's no doubt in my mind he'll be ready to play. Like I said earlier, he's – um, they get too high or too low. He's a even kill guy. Um, he's motivated, and uh, I know he'll be ready. Yes, I'm a high school coach before. Did you ever come in contact with Art Bryles? Is he someone you met? Yeah, it, you know, when I was, uh, you know, a young high school coach, he's one of those guys. He was at Stephenville, Texas, and uh, I was trying to figure out what they were doing. I mean, they really had it going on. And, uh, I think he was one of the first guys to have a, a video out, and I got the video. And, Start watching some things they do. Got a lot of respect for him, and he's very good at what he does. Gus, I know you've you've been asked probably a thousand times about uh, how this dramatic turnaround has come about. I'll make it a thousand and one. Yeah. Are there are are there a couple of things you can point to as to really being uh, essential to what what's happened? You know, I, I think it's all about our players uh, coming together, uh, putting the past behind them, and becoming close. 
think developing relationships with each other and developing relationships with coaches. I think that is the start of it. Coach, uh, this Georgia defense isn't quite as highly touted as it was last year. They do, they do uh, still have some playmakers. They've only allowed 200, uh, over 200 rush yards just once this year. What do you see when you look at this Georgia defense? Well, a lot of speed, a lot of athleticism. Um, they're very impressive. They're very impressive in uh, you know, most areas. And they fly to the football and they tackle well. Coach, I don't think this is revealing any type of secret, but when, when the ball is snapped and you're doing the zone read, take us through the progression of what a quarterback's looking for there. Well, it's just uh, his base reads, no matter what it's zone read or, or you know, read progression in other runs or passes. Uh, he's got a, um, you know, keys and different things that goes with that. Coach, a lot of people are saying the read option is just the wishbone from the A's. Do you agree with that? Well, I mean, anytime you've got, uh, you know, different facets of uh, you know, whether it's power read or read zone, you know, there is responsibilities that has to be done defensively. But the bottom line, it's like anything else. You've got to execute offensively no matter what you're doing. Uh, and we understand that.